Hi, I'm Jennifer Nichols, Interim President at Johns Hopkins Baby Medical Center and past co-chair of Go Red for Women in Baltimore. Welcome to the Red Chair Series. I'm joined today by Dr. Jobin Vaishnav. Dr. Vaishnav, welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your role at Johns Hopkins? What is your area of expertise? I am an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist. My area of expertise is in cardiac amyloidosis and I'm the director of the Johns Hopkins Comprehensive Amyloidosis Center. Tell us a little bit more about cardiac amyloidosis. What is it? Cardiac amyloidosis is a specific type of heart failure that happens to be extremely under-recognized and under-diagnosed. It's caused by um, protein deposition, which misfolds, forms amyloid fibrils, and then these fibrils stick to different parts of the body. And in the case of cardiac amyloidosis, it's sticking to the heart. What are some of the symptoms a patient might experience? Fatigue, having difficulty laying flat at night, and then also developing swelling in your legs related to fluid buildup as well. Cardiac amyloidosis is often preceded by carpal tunnel syndrome, and specifically bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome. Are any of these symptoms different for women than they are for men? Amyloidosis, and specifically TTR amyloidosis, has historically been thought to be a extremely male predominant disease. We are screening for amyloidosis because now we have a way to diagnose the condition with a non-invasive imaging modality. Women as compared to men present uh, at an older age with this disease and that's also true of broadly speaking congestive heart failure. So my grandmother passed from congestive heart failure. So sorry. Thank you. What are some of the treatments for CHF? You know, we always start by assessing what caused someone's congestive heart failure. A heart attack, um, perhaps a virus, um, perhaps a cause related to a hereditary or familial condition. So much about heart health is about prevention. Patients with CHF, what advice do you have for them? You know, common risk factors include hypertension or high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, TTR amyloidosis and is hereditary. You know, as a way to advocate for your own health, learn about your family's health and if you would be predisposed to any sort of hereditary cardiac condition. So certainly through the pandemic, we heard a lot about health disparities. Does this uh, kind of show up in your practice and the patients that you see and treat? We know that um, there are certain disparities that women are subject to within congestive heart failure. You know, women are um, uniquely prone to developing certain types of heart failure that men are otherwise not. So if I were experiencing symptoms of congestive heart failure, how would I have that conversation with my doctor? Once you've recognized that you're you know, experiencing heart symptoms, or symptoms of congestive heart failure, of course, see your doctor promptly and describe what you're feeling, as well as how long you may have been experiencing this. Congestive heart failure should be promptly evaluated by a cardiologist. Once you have been confirmed to have congestive heart failure, really quickly finding out if there's a reversible cause is, is another important aspect of treating the disease. As I mentioned, now we have a lot of ways to allow patients with congestive heart failure to feel better. For patients who are looking for additional information about these diseases, where do you recommend they go? The internet is at our fingertips and um, the American Heart Association and organizations such as this have very key information for congestive heart failure and important patient handbooks that I think um, would, are uh, what I recommend to my patients specifically. So what excites you about the future of your field? So much. I, you know, I fell in love with heart failure and specifically cardiac amyloidosis because there have been so many advancements just in my time in training. Diagnosing this condition earlier with novel modalities and I certainly think we're gonna have more effective treatment options soon. I think now is the time uh, to be in heart failure cardiology and I'm so fortunate to, to be in this field. Well, Dr. Vaishnav, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for everything you do for our patients, for the community, and to advance the, the field of, of cardiology. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure, and thank you for all that you do. Thanks, we appreciate you being part of the Red Chair Series. Thank you.